Dan Brown come up here and read something that uh, he, he got a copy of, and it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, if you guys know what an apostille is, that's uh, where a Secretary of State uh, verifies something that a notary signed so that you can move that document into a foreign country. So anyway, this is something from 1986. He's going to read it to you. He just picked it up. It's kind of interesting. We're going to see if we can get a hold of the uh, senator who wrote it. Not as tall as you are. <laughs> so this is a letter from uh, Wayne Stump, state senator, to the director of the Department of Public Safety, state of Arizona. It uh, goes on to say, It has come to my attention that numerous individuals in our state have rescinded all of their contracts with the United States federal government the state of Arizona, and each of its political subdivisions, establishing themselves as free men under the organic national constitution of the Republic of the United States of America. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Get that? <laughs> Woo! Consequently, they may be driving without auto registration, driver's license, or any other evidence of contract. Because many law enforcement personnel may be unaware of the contractual nature of auto registration and driver's licenses, it is conceivable that this situation may lead to confrontation between these individuals and law enforcement personnel. I urge you to inform yourself and your personnel about this matter as soon as possible. If you would like to be briefed by someone knowledgeable on this subject, please contact me. In the meantime, inasmuch as this procedure is entirely appropriate when properly carried out, I would like to personally uh, be notified of every such instance of confrontation in order that the persons involved and the public officials involved may be apprised of the correct procedure and the appropriateness of their actions on the part of each concerned. And then it goes on to give his phone number and everything. What, what's, what's the date? date? What's the date on that? That's the killer. This, the date, this was done December 10th, 1985. Wow. 26 years ago. People in Arizona so were rescinding their around, contracts guys. and acting like free men, and it was being recognized. <laughs> you no. Well, I went to the uh, law I met with a representative from Nebraska. He had this copy of the letter. Wow. So how do we get it? <laughs> we're making copies of it. Sweet. Here's, here's something else on the, on the side where it's, where it's notarized. It says, I, Wayne Howard Stump, that's who the state senator was, do solemnly state that this is an exact and true copy of a letter that I wrote on December 10th, 85, while serving in the State Senate of Arizona. And it's signed, Howard Stump. And then it's uh, got a notary by Stephen Green. And that's put on the side. So something has come up since then in 2004, January 2004, that this is an issue. So this isn't something new that we're doing. It's great. Isn't it great? It is. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, the Apple Steel oh. was Jan Brewer. Yeah. Who's now the governor? She was the Secretary of State. Oh, okay. An Apple Steel is a, um, a form of legitimizing a document for use in a foreign country.